There's still some active weather going on with that storm, specifically because it still has a little bit of rotation with it. Still a yeah. tropical depression, but also we're still seeing tornado warnings for this evening. Even though the storm doesn't have the sustained winds of a hurricane, you can still get some pretty powerful winds with embedded within those thunderstorms. So that's what they're dealing with tonight for Arkansas. That area in red is going to be that tornado watch box. And for now, there's a few severe thunderstorm warnings and some uh, tornado warnings kind of sprinkled in here through parts of northern Louisiana and also into Arkansas. It's not going to hold on its tropical characteristics for much longer. I'm sure tomorrow will just be a remnant low and then it will continue to bring the moisture off to the north and east. It's not going to impact us at all. What we are going to see is the heat continue and isolated rain opportunities going forward, at least for the rest of the work week. Areas in orange, areas inland heat advisory. Now that doesn't mean it's not hot closer to the coastlines. It does not mean it's not hot for DeSoto. Charlotte or Lee County. It's just two different National Weather Service op, uh, offices here. The Tampa office will cover these counties. The Miami office covers these counties and they have a little bit slightly different criteria by a few degrees. It's still hot and dangerously hot for areas closer to the coastline. I won't be surprised if they issue a heat advisory for Charlotte, Lee, or just sort of first thing tomorrow morning. It will feel at least 105 during parts of the afternoon tomorrow. What we're also expecting is limited rain opportunities. If you notice some hazy skies out there, we have some Saharan dust here, and that Saharan dust is going to stick around for tomorrow, a Wednesday, Thursday, and start to depart on Friday. So rain opportunities not as high as they typically are. We're still going to get some rain. It doesn't completely shut it off. And compared to what's normal or higher concentration, this is not as high as that concentration can be. Uh, so it's not going to completely squash those rain opportunities. We do have higher concentrations of dust throughout the Caribbean and into the Atlantic Basin. That's a good news for tropical development. It really diminishes that tropical development doesn't make it impossible. There are plenty of areas where there's not that Saharan dust, but this time of year, that's pretty normal to have that plume of Saharan dust work its way across the Atlantic and also limit development. We're not seeing anything with any potential for the next five to seven days and our long term forecasts don't really show much bubbling up either. So hopefully that trend holds for a few more weeks because it won't hold for the rest of hurricane season.